Questions. Why are you out here today? Because I want to see Trump. I, lo I think he's great. I think he's fantastic. Well, let me know. Are you from the area or did you travel in to see him? I'm from Doylestown, so yeah, we traveled Hello. about 45 minutes. Great. Hey, uh -huh. Are you a university student? Or? No. No? No, hard work in American. That's what I am. No college for me. Yep. How do you feel about uh, some of his policies? Are there any particular policies that you've Feel strongly about one way or the other? No. I just think every, I think everything he says is just great. I think I think he's smart. I think he knows what he's doing, and he's got balls. I think he's really going to help us. The Republicans and the Democrats better start taking him seriously. Do you think he takes himself seriously? You want me to drive? Up as, there? as much as anyone should. What do you think his focus is, or, or his objectives, uh, if he were to become president? I think his objectives, if he were to be president, would be to get us financially stable again. And that's something that a lot of presidential candidates seem to skirt and rather play to the uh, social issues of the time, which presidents really shouldn't even play a part in for the most part. What bothers me is that most of these people here, if they really want to have an impact on our government, should be voting in their congressional and senate races, which I would guarantee you most of the people here, probably 90% of them at least, don't even go to those elections. And they can influence directly who gets elected there. I am having a wonderful time just messing with people. Are you from Westchester? I am born and raised. Ah, uh, great. You go to the university here? Last semester I did, I'm just taking a semester off right now, but yeah. Who has Donald Trump married? Ivanka and a whole bunch of other foreign. <laughs> Not Ivanka, that's his daughter. Damn, Melania. Sorry, am I like Ivana. Ivana. Yeah. Ivanka. Who he wants to marry his daughter first, so that's weird. But uh Melania and I don't know the others wives. He has like three other wives. Yeah, Ivana was I think one of them. Yeah, and then Ivanka it's, was daughter, Marla Maples. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just, it's funny that he doesn't like immigrants, he marries them. It's like, what you up to, Donald? What do you feel about his wall he wants to build? It's, that's just so stupid on so many levels. Alright, the wall itself will cost at least 30 billions just to construct, then within seven years it will have doubled in cost just to maintain it. What do you think we really need help with? What would you like to see fixed? Um, the illegals should go. He's not racist because he just wants them. He's they're they're illegals. Like he doesn't want them to be gone forever. He just wants them to come back into the country legally. Well, like who else? Who wouldn't agree with that? Why would you want people illegally here? Like it just makes no sense. Do you think it's um, just particularly Mexicans, or is it a variety of different illegals here? Um, variety. Variety. It's not just Mexicans. It's just. Legals, just the Muslims, the Mexicans, all of them. What brought you out here today? To understand the minds of other people. And uh, what do you think you might find today as an understanding the minds of the people here or the minds of Trump? The mind of Trump. The, the mind of Trump, because it does kind of flip flop every once in a while. But just to understand where other people are headed you know like we have like America is very very divided and we have these sections of groups of people who have like these entirely completely different ideas like rural areas to city areas and people like this is the only time we get together and really discuss the issues that we face in every single type of community so I feel like it's important that I be here to understand even though I think some of the stuff that he says is crazy and some of the stuff that has been going around is ridiculous but I never want to jump the gun and like stereotype a group of people. So how do you feel about the gun control issues? Um, I don't really like, think it's that big of an issue. I mean if people are gonna do bad stuff and kill people they're gonna find other ways to do it. So and just because like, like, an issue doesn't necessarily affect you as an individual you shouldn't be like selfish enough to not like think of the other people like maybe like I don't have a problem with like giving up my gun but if someone wants to like it's their right like who am I to say what they can do. Do it, you, get, like. you get rid of guns, 
then the only people who are gonna have guns are criminals. They're gonna. That's go. true. <laughs> so. And banning guns isn't gonna get rid of guns. It just gives more power to the government. Things have been power. Other things have been banned before, like alcohol. Like that has been banned before, and people still <laughs> had it. And so I think that there's people are gonna find ways to go around it. Yeah. Look at Europe. It's collapsing and stuff. So that's all I think. Uh, I just uh, want to uh, support Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Anything in particular you want to hear him talk about? Uh, I just uh, think uh, a lot of his ideas, uh, I agree to what uh, a lot of things that he says. You don't want to pinpoint one of them for us today? Uh, just uh, generally. Yeah. I think he's uh, pretty conservative and uh, I think a lot of the issues uh, that we're facing, I think it's, uh, you know, I agree with a lot of things. And not, he's not perfect, but uh, I agree a lot of things that he says. It's check it out as part of history and also one of the things that we watch on television. I actually looked at his website and some of the things that I was, was curious about, there was more detail. Um, one of the things in particular that people always go and talk about is they, the wall. And people say he can't make a wall. Well, I was a soldier for a long time and I remember the, the wall in Europe. So people do make walls. I'm not saying that's the way to go, but they do make walls. And so, I, you know, let's see what he has to say and also see how the uh, democracy is working. Because it is, you know, we have to always listen to different viewpoints. You can't just say, you know, I don't like what you have to say, I don't want to hear it. Do you think most people are listening to different viewpoints? I think not anymore. It's unfortunate. I think Americans have become very, very polarized. Um, I think the concept of we the people is kind of like diminishing quickly. And it's unfortunate. I spent a long time as a soldier. You know, that's one of the reasons why I did. I grew up with, you know, the red, white, and blue and believe in that, but at the same time tolerating other people's differences of opinion. I think that level of intolerance has gone to a part where it's going to divide us, and I think it already has. And why are you here today? Because uh, I'm all about the Trump. <laughs> <laughs> You studied international relations? Yes. Are you, uh, I heard you asking some international relations yeah. related questions to the high schoolers. Yeah, what are your concerns? Um, I don't have many concerns, really. Um, I don't think Obama should have put us into Syria. I did basically the same thing Bush did with Iraq. And what do you think uh, Trump's going to do about it? I actually think that Trump is much more friendly towards Russia than our current administration is, and Russia is an ally of Syria. I think that we should maybe be supporting our, um, not only just NATO, but other countries as well. And I asked that man what was his definition of standard of living. Uh, he was talking about having what you need but wanting more. That's not what we're here for. We're not talking about having what you need and wanting more. We're not talking about those privileges. I'm talking about not having enough to survive, period. And when they keep going back on the whole economic issue, I'm focused more on the social issue because we've been doing this for way too long. My grandparents have done this, my great-grandparents have done this, and before that, my parents were just, you know, working on not being dehumanized as human beings. You know, the, the overused term of slavery, people don't, people don't understand that. All right, but now it's more than that. Trump is actually, what, what he does is a very, very smart method for manipulating people. He's very vague, what he does is that he makes heavy implications without technically saying it. Being that it wasn't technically said, he lets his followers fill in the blanks. When violence does take place at his rallies, he doesn't do anything to stop it. If anything, he'll, he'll mock it and he'll laugh about it and he'll totally condone it. And what that tells us is that it's okay. This is what Donald Trump has been doing. He's just another reality star. On this side, yes, I feel safe. When I cross back over um, into the Trump side, I do always make sure I'm with a buddy. I always make sure that I hide anything that would show that I'm for um, not going for Trump. Um, but I don't feel safe crossing over to the other side, no. Do you have any problems being in crowds like this, uh, feeling unsafe because of terrorism issues? No, I, I don't really have that problem. I know that there are a lot more American on American killings that happen within the country. Um, I think that terrorism is being hyped up to be something that is much more of a, um, you know, a scare tactic than it really is an issue. And I care more about the people's concerns from one one day to the next, and not really concerned about outside terrorism. What do you think uh, Trump will do with the foreign policies? Uh, it's hard to say. He hasn't come out with anything too too solid yet. What has he come out with? Well, he's come out with a way to 
prevent illegal immigration. Um, he seems to be the only one with a real plan for it, whereas a lot of Democrats call them undocumented workers. Really, they are illegal immigrants breaking the laws. And what is his plan? His plan is to build a wall, just like many countries have walls between borders. Walls are easy, walls are not that expensive when it comes to the actual cost of illegal immigration. Were you around to celebrate Berlin Wall coming down? No. Born the same year. Did you study about it? Did you go to the Berlin Wall? Have been. Did you? Were you there in 1989? I have... Uh, uh, Nazi soldiers in my family and American soldiers in my family from World War II, so it's kind of an issue for me. Okay, so are you uh, alluding to Trump being somehow a national socialist or? No, have to do with I'm you? not alluding. I'm just curious of what your thoughts are about the wall. Pro as a as a person who studied international relations. Walls have always been in the history of human civilization, and they've kept bad things out. How do you know which is a bad thing and which is the good thing? <clears throat> well, if we're talking about illegal immigration, illegal immigrants take jobs that working class, now working class Americans, uh, manufacturers, uh, farm hands would otherwise take. And these are legal citizens' jobs that would be filled by legal citizens, but instead they're filled by illegal immigrants. Stumps. Can't stump no, the truck. it's just how to. <laughs> I don't know how to say that politely. Yes, we can. It was the call of workers who organized, women who reached for the ballot, a president who chose the moon as our new frontier, and a king who took us to the mountaintop and pointed the way to the promised land. Yes, we can. Justice and equality.